I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Lenten fasting, what to think about it, and how to do it. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Share. Sharing is caring. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms and donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us making known the gifts of Jesus to youth and young adults. And boy, do we need those gifts in these dark times. All right. Okay. It's Lent. It's Ash Wednesday. I'm frozen in. I appear to be at church, but I'm really not. The magic of a blue screen. But I'm here today to tell you about Lenten fasting. And before you get all like, oh, that does a Roman Catholic thing. Okay, you can handle 40 days of purpose. You can handle 40 days of love. You can handle 40. It's time for the church, the, the OG 40 days of purpose. It's, it's Lent, 40 days of repentance. Or 40 days of Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, Lenten fasting goes like this. Let's take a look at the text. When you fast, not if you fast, when you fast, not if you fast, not if you get around to it, not if you're, you know, no, it's when you fast, atande, um, when you fast, don't become sullen like the hypocrites, for they, literally the word is they disfigure their faces that their fasting may receive, be seen by others Truly, I say to you, they get their reward in full. Um, when you fast, again, not if you fast, when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face. So that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your father who is in secret. And your father who sees what is done in secret will Apo dose, give unto you gifts. So, here's the deal. You're free to fast, you're free not to fast in the Christian faith. Um, but let me tell you about fasting. And the way to do it, Lenten style. When you fast in Lent, let your fasting be between you and God. Okay? Um, I'm not going to put a law on you um, and say, like, the first rule of Lenten fasting is... Don't talk about Lenten fasting. Um, that's actually not a bad rule. Sort of pithy, but but folks get mad at me about that. Some of our dear pastors, well, they can tell me, well, I, I don't care who you tell, but when you tell everybody, you kind of lose the gift. But the point here is that you, you make a determination on what is blocking Jesus being such a God for you uh, in Lent, and you... And you you, you sort of step away from that. Um, it may mean that you give up something that you love. It may mean that you give up a food that you like or something like that. You're not going to balance the scales. You're giving up meat in Lent isn't going to balance what Jesus did for you. But what it is going to do is help your body learn by whatever it is that you give up that Jesus is the Lord of you and not whatever that other thing is. Don't make a big show of it like the hypocrites do. Now, the, post, the Facebook post goes up. Now, Lent is here and I'm giving up social media for Lent. Okay, well, you've received your reward right there in full. Um, so what I would do is simply, is simply let no one know, except those that you absolutely have to, what you're doing for Lent. And, and the thing about Lenten fasting also is this isn't your self-improvement program. This isn't time for you to, to, to become a better person. Um, you know, like I always needed to give up carbs, and so I gave up carbs for Lent. And God's not mocked either. Don't give up something like zucchini. I don't like zucchini. And if I were to give up zucchini, God would be like, I know exactly what you're doing here. You're not actually doing anything for me at all. When you fast, take what it is that you are fasting from and fast for six days. Fast until Sunday. 
And then on Sunday, which is a little Easter, rejoice in the salvation of one for you on the cross by breaking your fast and then picking it back up again on Monday. And I promise you, um, when the resurrection celebration comes on Easter, it will be for you an actual, I mean, you'll, you'll, I don't want to say feel it, but it'll be meaningful for you. Now, all this might be bunk to you. You're like, oh, I don't have to do it. I'm so free. I don't need to fast. In fact, I'm giving up Lent for Lent. Well, you're free to do that. You certainly are. But what you're not free to do is judge others for keeping a fast. You're not free to do that. You're doing when you do that, that's sinful. And when you take your when you take your freedom and use it to judge someone else who is 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 doing something they believe is for them to help their faith in Christ. You cross the line. So, not if you fast, but when you fast. Think it through. Think it through. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. Happy Lent to you. And this has been another Higher Things video short.